So I watched a few videos, searched the internet, looking at specs, went down the YouTube rabbit hole, watching reviews of people saying almost the same thing. And ultimately pulled the trigger and bought a pair of Atom Audio T7Vs. I was excited, like these are gonna sound amazing. I was really excited to hear the ribbon tweeter that everybody was giving these rave reviews to. I mean, people are really hyping this thing up. This should be the best thing ever, right? Right? Got them home, took them out the box, set them up to do a side-by-side -side with my KRK Classic Gen 3s. And I listened to the Adam Audios first. Ribbon tweeter, sounds like a tweeter. Low-end driver was very underwhelming. Okay, so you'll ask about tweaking the controls on the rear panel. Let's start with the low end since that's what I missed the most at this point. Click, 2 dB boost, and eh. Okay, well, let's try the high since we're here. Click, 2 dB boost, and no, turn that off. Well, let's bring up the volume, see what that does. Turn them up and the bass has left the building. I produce mostly hip hop, so the reason I opted for the KRKs to begin with was the low end punch they have and the ability to go very loud and remain with that same punch. I mean, because when you're feeling your groove and you wanna turn them up, you definitely don't want your monitors struggling to keep up with you. All those same thoughts went through as I'm doing my A-B test. The Adam Audio obviously beat the KRK Gen 3s from the mids to the highs, but as far as lows and volume capability, KRK, hands down winner. So I boxed up the Adam Audio T7Vs and came back home with a fresh pair of KRK Gen 4 Rocket 8s. And to my surprise, they have the same mids and highs of the Atom Audios, but with the same low that KRK is known for, and they for sure get loud when you're ready to bang out and feel the vibe of your track. Now, I'm not sponsored by KRK, although I wish I was, KRK, holla at your boy. I've been using KRK since generation one when they came out roughly 2003, I believe it was. And I've always had good results on my mixes and my masters, and that's what works for me. As you can see, I have a dedicated Dolby Atmos monitoring system with KRK Classic Gen 3s and the new KRK Gen 4 Rocket 8s as a dedicated stereo monitor. I will say, if you're a low volume mixer and maybe doing some sound design or video editing, maybe dialogue mostly or something like that, Atom Audio would probably be a good fit. But if you're like me and you're producing beats and at any given moment you wanna crank it up and still have the clarity, KRK Gen 4s all day. So here's your chance. Leave all the questions and all the comments down below. And until next time, I'm Mr. Preezy. I'll see you.